Hey everybody, so today I've got a 1991 Donruss box. Um, in here is a chance to get those Elite cards, um, plus the, I believe there's an autograph of one or two of them. Um, I have gotten a total of, I think, four or five out of these in the past. However, none of them were recorded, which is kind of weird. So let's see, give it a try. We're gonna do this in two parts. So we'll do the first half now, and then second half on a later, later video. Close that up. Save it for next time. <clears throat> okay, so here's our packs. That's right, so the autograph, Ryan Sandberg, possible. There's several elites, and they're very hard to get. Apparently, they're uh, one in every case. So, let's see what we can get. Here we go, first half. All right, so Randy Johnson highlight. We'll pull out all the good stuff. This one's not one of the most popular ones, but Fred McGriff, who's now in the Hall of Fame, is a Barry Bonds Diamond King. Sammy Sosa, Wade Boggs, Dennis Eckersley. So that was a good pack for Hall of Famers and such. Now one thing like 1990 and this 91 is the wax really sticks. So I guess it's good that the uh, puzzle piece is there. To, won't ruin the other cards. And if there's an elite, it would be right behind this. Every one I've gotten has been behind this. So it's like as soon as you open it, you'll see it. All right. Randy Johnson again. Cal Ripken. So these boxes are actually pretty cheap because again, you know, they made a lot of them and it's not the most popular. Sandberg. So I'm going a little fast because I don't want to make this a very long video. Which is also why I'll do it in two parts. Ron Gant. I like to keep out all the Diamond Kings. There's Bo Jackson. Not much in that one. And then we'll just keep it going. Because, yeah, if you see how it opens you'll be able to tell that it's right there but nothing yet Craig Biggio so I think the elites went from 91 to 90 maybe 94 I'd have to check that so if you can get any of those boxes, 91, 92, 93, you have a chance. But all the ones I've got have been in 91. There's two Diamond Kings in that pack. Trammel. Another Cal Ripken. Next pack. I think the very first one I got was Nolan Ryan, which sold immediately for $100. I mean, immediate. 
John Smolt. Two more Diamond Kings. Sandberg. Griffey Jr., nice. <clears throat> so it looks like we're about halfway through the first stack here. This is Matt Williams. Chuck Finley. We might come up with a whole set. Barry Larkin of the Diamond Kings. So yeah, these don't have much value, but um, at least there's some good Hall of Famers. Diamond Kings are kind of nice. Gary Carter, Dave Rigetti, Ozzie Smith. Chris Hoyles there. That was a big name back then. There's two of them again. Trammell, Bo Jackson, Stillwell, Williams. Pretty good four in a row there. So yeah, I'm going fast because, like I said, I don't want to have, have a huge long video. Tom Glavin, Larry Walker, Welch, I probably have enough of these commons from all the last years I've been searching to make a couple sets. Mike Witt. Nothing in that one. So we're getting down to about uh, five packs left here. Cal Ripken, Jim Abbott. I like to keep all the Jim Abbotts. Pedro Guerrero. Next pack. Nope. Like I said, you'll know right away. It's right after this puzzle piece. Quite distinguishable. Distinguishable. Lou Whitaker, another BGO. I used to get these boxes for just ten dollars. Smoltz, another Larkin. Okay, we're down to two for the first half of this. Dave Rigetti again. Clemens. All right, well, first half. Here's the last pack of the first half and I don't see. So we struck out on this one. But, we still got a lot of good players here in the Diamond Kings. So not a total loss. Alright, so give me a sub if you haven't already. Click the like button. And we'll see you in part two. Thanks for watching.